Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Mary at the Marriottier. And this is an introduction to our Saturday video hop. It normally is the fourth Saturday of every month. But this month, it's the fifth Saturday. <laughs> because Mary copied the wrong date down on the schedule. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this hop. Uh, the theme is animals. And this seemed to be a theme that everybody liked. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what happens out there. Now, I cannot put a schedule in my description box or on my community tab because it's a video hop. And... The videos are scheduled to go live at 5.30 this morning. It's central time. It's 4.30 here now. So if I put a schedule out there, they would all be dead links and you would not be happy with me. But I can tell you who's going to hop along with us. Uh, Artfully Blind with Diana, Mrs. Gigi, APG Jamie, Designs by CAD Pro, Tim, Janet Nash, Roy, Lutzi Sweethearts, and myself. There's seven of us. And that makes a pretty good video hop. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to go on. What are we going to do for animals? Uh, um, I come on live to introduce the hop i i really do much better on live streams than i do on videos because i like to come in and just just chat with you guys i'm setting up my my laptop now my um tablet so i can see if anybody comes in Nobody's come in yet, but let me adjust my camera here. Oh, am I? Let's see. Do I even have the right one? Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we are. Had to get to the chat. Had to get to the chat. <laughs> Sometimes I don't see the chat right away. Hi, Sherry Van. Hi, Lori. Lori, Lori, Lori. I have um, an animal done for Lori. I was going to pull it out this morning, but uh, I didn't get that done. But I did a sketch of Lori's dog, Blaze. I need to get that out and mailed. It's all ready to mail. The envelope's all done. It's all in the package. I just haven't put that stamp on it. <laughs> Lori's going, why not, Mary? <laughs> oh, dear. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. Artsy Nancy. So what am I going to do? Well, I am going to sketch. Um, last year, I can't believe it's been a whole year. The year goes by fast when you're having fun, let me tell you. Last year, I did animals. I did um, dogs and cats, and I have several requests out here on my drive of, of animals, and this one is Mary Two's dog, Ripley, and I thought I would work on some of these sketches. I'm working on Norma's cats. I want to do Lala's dog, and I thought what I would do is kind of go through the animals that I have out on my drive and just do some fast sketches this morning. I, you know, I'm not an animal portrait artist, so it does take me a little bit of time to get in there and, you know, catch the, catch the personality of the dog. And I think that, well, also catch all the, make it, make it look like them. But there's something about every animal, just like there is something about every person. They all have their own little personality. And I do believe that when you're sketching and doing art, that if you practice enough, 
you can catch that. And I always know the point where I go, oh, there's Henry or uh, there's Tinker. Or in this case, here's Ripley. <laughs> you know, when you're when you're sketching and drawing. And sometimes that takes me several times. And so I just like to get out there and practice. And that's what I would encourage you to do in your journals. Don't expect yourself to be a professional artist if you're not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a pet, a, a pet artist, uh, pet portrait artist. And I'm just going to use my ink pen and I'm just going to sketch. Uh, I'm not going to sketch a full page. I'm going to put several different um of the animals on one page or i might dwell on his eyes it probably looks pretty dark to you right here let's go back out into chat and see what's going on i might need to mary when you send it when you want no worries oh thank you Lori. isn't he beautiful isn't he beautiful so I have several animals in there and I might need, I was looking at them last night and I go, I might need to ask whose animal this one belongs to. Who's, whose person does this um, uh, dog or cat own? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I might be able to check it out again through messenger or email. Hmm. There are a couple of them out there that I'm not sure. I think I know, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to, I don't want to mess up that way. But the ones I do this morning, I know. And I'm just going to do some fast sketches because the video hop will be live at 530. And I want to be off before that time. So, so that I have a playlist out there. I need to make that public. And I, I'll put the links at, after 5.30. Right after 5.30, I'll put the link list in my description box below so that, so that the video hop can happen. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to go out there. Hi, Rain Girl, Cindy. Aw, welcome, welcome. I haven't seen you for a long time. Lori says, everyone slept in this morning. It's 3.35 here. Who would not want... Oh, who would not want to be up at this hour of the morning, Lori says. Aw, oh, Lori. <laughs> You're one of my early birds. You and Nancy and Mina and Arlene and Rhonda. You guys are my early birds. <laughs> I haven't done any birds yet. Why? Well, no, I haven't. I don't think I've sketched any bird animals. I did that white owl. But all right, let's go back out to Ripley here. And if you're looking at this, um, this right up in here is my little my little chat window. So you kind of have to ignore that. Let's see. Maybe I should. Am I zoomed in enough that you guys can see? Yeah, I'm going to leave it just like that. Because I'm just going to practice. And the more you practice, the more you practice, um, the, the better it gets. Uh, even when I sketch people, like I sketched Mary Todd Lincoln here, and I'm about ready to do her again because... I the I look at her and I go, well, her face should have been rounder. And but I do think I caught something of her. So the point is is to practice, practice, practice. Especially if you're not a well, I I imagine professional artists practice, practice, practice. They just do it. Some people have a natural a natural bent and they can get a sketch right off. That's not me. That's not me. I have to practice, pra especially with animals. Okay, so I'm going to start out here with this year, and I'm just going to, I'm going to, um, it's going to be a, a really quick sketch at first, just to kind of catch 
just to kind of catch him. And he's got some ear fur in here. And then he's got sort of a, I'll bet you if you would pet his head, you would feel his skull in there. I can almost see it. And then his other ear comes up kind of like that. And don't expect yourself, when, if you're sketching and, and drawing, and sometimes I think we expect too much out of ourselves if we're just beginning. And I'm just going to kind of shade this area in here. Um, let's just shade it with... So I want to get back to doing these pet portraits. Let's see, his head comes out this way. Now, he's got... He's got a dark area coming down this way. You can almost see his eyebrows in here. And I'm just going to kind of make... Or I, I guess you can call them eyebrows. I don't know if you call them eyebrows for dogs or not. And let me zoom in on his eyes. So, but they are wide apart. His eyes are round. Let's just put around. Oh, that might be too much. Round and and an animal has round eyes. Different. Our eyes are oval, and animals' eyes are round, or rounder than a human's eyes. This other eye can come over a little bit more. Now. Now, I see one thing right now. I think his ears are... No, his ears are pretty big. I was going to say his ears are too big for his head, but... Maybe he just needs some more fur out here. This area is, is all dark in here. And, you, you know, you don't need a beginning sketch to, to be much. You're just getting a feel for it. You're just getting a feel for him. Now his head comes down this way, and this area in here is all dark, except for some light fur up in here. And let's go back and look at that eye again. This eye is almost all shaded in, and so is this one. You can kind of see the eyeball, though. Okay. Now we're going to hit his nose is... is very defined in here comes this part of his head is out this way and it's got that fur and this eye might be a little too big in there she see I as I'm talking about trying to get the proportion of him and everything but again, this is my first sketch of him, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of me right at first. All right, his nose comes down this way, and it kind of, it kind of has that curvy curve in there, and kind of, I don't want it to, kind of like that, and then his tongue. His mouth comes this way. Mm. Like that. And this is all shaded. This is all in shading in there. Except for a little of the hair coming out, a little of the fur coming out this way. And the same here is fur kind of comes out. Like that. And then there's some light fur in there. And this is all dark in here. All dark. 
to kind of make some lines in there. And this is all dark in here. Now with a pen, you, you can't get all the values and everything. When I finally get to doing the... Uh, when I finally get to doing the, the, I do them in crayon, but when I finally get to putting color on them, that's when they really, the personality comes out. Okay, I think this eyebrow, this is, I think, as I put it in the shaded area in here, it'll take shape. Because his, his, his face is, his nose is all dark in here. All dark. And then, of course, he's got his mouth coming open, and then his tongue is hanging out. <laughs> yeah, his tongue is hanging out. Oh, loggies. Now he looks kind of happy, doesn't he? Aw, he says. Yeah, as long as I could have my tongue hanging out, I'm happy. But here again, don't if you're if you're sketching, or even um, practice sketching because uh, you you learn to look at proportions and everything. And I'm not saying I'm the best at at it. I make a lot of mistakes. If you go back and look at my sketches, a lot of them don't even look like. And here again, I'll say this is a dog. This looks like a dog, but is this Ripley? Have I really caught him? And I don't think I've really caught him yet. I've, I've caught a dog. I've got a dog on here, but I don't think I really have Ripley yet. There's a certain point as to when you catch their personality. And usually, usually I have to... Sketch it several times before that point happens. But that's okay. You just practice, practice, practice. And this area in here is all dark. His nose is really dark. His nose is almost black. This is dark. And it kind of comes up this way. Like that. Very defined shape in there. Uh, maybe not so pointed. There. And then he's got other fur coming out down. This is shaded dark in here. Kind of goes up and then there's dark area around in here. Just a little bit of a goldish fur happening right in there. And then under his mouth, there's fur under his neckline in here. And then he's got, boy, the tongue. I don't, <laughs> the tongue, how am I going to represent the tongue? I'm just going to put it really light if I can. Uh, a few lines in there and then there's that center little center line in there and then there's fur coming down underneath his on his torso area in here now here again I think this is a dog but I I don't think this is quite Ripley yet um, Face probably needs to be a little bit wider in there, but this is why you, this is why you practice, practice, practice. And I'm just gonna go in here and kind of shade some of these areas. I'm gonna keep a eye on my time because I don't wanna. I only want to go till about five fifteen. All right, we'll have to we'll have to practice him more. I think his face needs to be wider. I think me trying to add more fur is not going to solve the problem. And let's see. 
He's got a white tooth in there, too. And all of this area is shaded in in here. All of this is shaded in. And this is just a pen and ink sketch. This, this is not a... This is just to get the feel of what Ripley looks like. Just the feel of it. And I'm just going to put some shading in there. Maybe I can widen, make it look a little, let him look a little bit wider in there. So I'm going to stop there. Um, I by no means have him yet. I no means have him captured yet. So this is sketch one, sketch number one, Ripley. And this is Mary Two's dog. All right, so let's go from Ripley. Uh, can I do this? Yeah, let's go to Becky's little Bernadette. Who's Becky's little Bernadette? Isn't she sweet? Look like she's looking looking around the the corner. Is that is that part of the no this is the end of the folder. There's one of her and then there's this one where she's kinda looking up. It's so cute. She's kinda looking up and saying, Hello, did you want to sketch me? <laughs> she's so sweet. I like little Bernadette. <laughs> I think Bernadette is an older dog, if I remember right. I think Becky and Scott found her, if I remember right, and gave her a home, rescued her. And I think she's an older dog now, and uh, if I remember right, Becky says she doesn't see very well. But she's got big eyes. And she, where Ripley... Had a lot of dark colors in him, which, you know, I could sit here and shade all this in till the cows come home and still not have it at all the dark areas in there. Um, I don't think I have his nose right. But Bernadette is a little white sweetie dog. So, let's start out. We're just going to give it an app line. We're just going to just sort of try to get an outline of her here. And we want as few lines as possible. We don't want it to get really dark. And I'm just trying to go for her shape of her head. Her ear comes down this way. Kind of comes down a little bit more. She's got a, it looks like she's looking, she's looking up at Becky. Like, what do you have to eat? What's what's to eat today? I hope it's good. All right. And then she's got, you can kind of see, she's kind of got a little skull area in here. Little skull area going on in here. Right in there. And then she's got these huge, big eyes. Big, big eyes. Right, like that, and then the eye, and of course now I got the eye too big for the, for the ear. The eye isn't, and she's got big eyes, but they're not that big. And then there's a lot of space here between her eyes. There, I would say, there's a, she's, there's really a lot of wide space between her eyes. I think the other one probably starts way over here. And... We'll just kind of sketch it in here. Trying not to make it too, too big. And then her, uh, her, this ear might need to be a, just a little bit bigger in here. Come down a little bit more. Yeah. And when I'm 
when I am coloring with the the what you know I use the waxy part of the colors you can get in there and and like here I had to bring this ear out a little bit more and you can kind of see my sketch lines in there but if you're coloring you can you can with my wax I can scrape that area out and make it larger but now this part of her face because she's looking up at Becky she's looking up at Becky or whoever took this photograph this part of her face comes sort of large and then she's got a pretty big well let's do this other eye first and I would say this eye could even go over just a little bit more and let's shade it in her head comes this way and she, let's see down this way and then she's she's got an area here and then her nose her nose looks bigger probably than it is because her nose is closer to the camera she's looking up at the camera so her nose looks a little bigger than it probably is on this photograph. Aw, little sweetie pie. That's what I think of when I think of Bernadette. She's a little sweetie pie. And her nose has got little nostrils in here. And then she, her chest area is out in here. And then her other ear comes out this way. So this is just practice. This is just practice. And the more you practice, you'll eventually capture them. Like I said, there's a point. There's a point to where they pop out. And their personality just, I'll say, there you are. <laughs> you know, there's just a point where their personality pops out at you. And I don't want to get her too dark because she's a little, she's, I have to have some shadow in there to define her head. But she's, she's not a dark fur dog. All right, now her chest area, again, because she's looking up at the camera, her chest area is, is pretty small in here. And then, let's see, she's got her little mouth coming this way. A little shade in her nose. And then, actually, that might be a little bit too much there. Now this comes down, and then she's got a little... It's a little gray area in there. I bop around on my drawings. If I notice something like, okay, I was working on the mouth and then I all of a sudden went up here and looked working on the eye. It just as I as I sketch, as I sketch, I'll notice things. Let's bring her ear down a little bit more this way. Aww. Now this ear, this ear has just a little bit more shading in there. Right in here. It helps define the side of her head. And it kind of comes down this way. And then there's some shading going on around her eye in here too but I don't want it too dark I don't want it too dark I just want it there's probably more over in this area and up around in there and then there's shading underneath of her it's a it's a light shading of a white fur is what it is so it's just kind of really light and her mouth let's finish her mouth 
I might have her mouth a little off here. But. And then there's a little white area underneath of her mouth. And it comes down like this. And maybe like that. A little and a little in here. Her nose. What time is it? I've got 15 minutes. Yeah. So this whole area in here is kind of a light. Well, this is her her torso, her chest area in here. And then her little legs come down. I don't think I'm going to put her legs on here. So this is sketch one. I'm going to number them. Sketch number one of... Um, now I'm going to put Mary 2. Mary 2's dog over here. Mary 2's dog. And, and this is a Bernadette. And Becky's dog. And I'll, you know, I'll have to sketch these over and over and over. All right. We've got room for... Another one in about 15 minutes, so let's go pick another one. Um, here is Lala's dog, uh, Buddy. This is Lala's dog, Buddy, all curled up, kind of looking up at the camera like, ah, I'm trying to get some sleep here. <laughs> Now, I also have some pictures, but I need to crop them because I want the dog. Um, I like the pictures a lot. She, she sent me one hug of, you know, she's hugging uh, Buddy and her husband is hugging Buddy. And, you know, I don't want to put their faces on online. So I'll be cropping out Buddy. But for right now, let's just do him. And we'll do him just in this whole bottom area down here. Little buddy, he's all curled up. And so his, his right side of his head, of course, is leaning against the pillow here. So you, you're, going, you're not going to see the entire, you'll see sort of the shape of his head, but his ear gets hidden by the pillow in here. So let's start over here with his head. Well, let's start right in here and just kind of sketch his head in. And here again, this is a beginning sketch. This is certainly is not is not uh, anything finished. This just helps me get a start. Helps me get a start. Oh, I love little Bernadette. She's so cute. Becky and Scott take care of their cats and their animals. Always taking them to the vet, taking them to the groomer. All right. Now on little, little uh, buddy here, you can see on his head. You can see on his head a definite area right up here on his forehead. Kind of a shape between his eyes. So I'm going to attempt to put that just little lines in here just to help define his head. Uh, little, Just little lines right in there. And then it kind of comes down. Not too much down, though. And then this eye comes off over this way. And when you look at it this way, he's got really big eyes for his little head. So, but it's all, their eyes, when you look at them, their eyes are far apart. I thought Bernadette had a lot of area in here, and she does. That their eye, and his eye is a little 
Buddy's eye is big, big eyes. I think that's big round eyes. That's kind of what makes them so sweet are their big eyes. That's part of their personality. And, of course, when you have big round eyes, you've got the light reflecting off of them. So the shape of his head kind of follows his eye. And then his other eye, now that's not quite done, so... But his other eye, his nose comes in here, and there's shading up in here, up in there, and up in, bring it down a little. That head might need to come up a little further, a uh, little bit higher head here. And his other eye comes right over in here. And I'm just going to kind of put some marks to help me define it. And it's a big eye too. Big brown eyes. And then just a little little area in there. And, and here again, I have to sketch these animals several times before because I'm not a, I'm not a professional portrait artist where now it just kind of, you know... <laughs> Is that a dog? Yeah. Let's put his ear in there. That'll help. Let's put his ear in there. Little buddy's ears. This ear gets hidden. It's kind of hidden off over in here with the, he's laying on a blankie there. But this ear comes out this way. And I might not get his whole body on here, but that's okay. His face is the important thing. This ear comes out this way, kind of rounds off, and kind of comes this. That His ear might be a little big there. Let's shorten it up a little. Ignore all that. That's all background. And then this this is all his body in here. But now, if you look at him, his, his back haunch, his back haunch comes right up to his, right up to, almost to his face, almost to his head here, and his paw goes underneath. So let's, let's draw the head in here. And coming down coming down this way and then it's kind of a cone shaped nose kind of a triangular nose teardrop nose almost coming down this way maybe even smaller than that he doesn't look like much now, but just let me, let me work on it. And it just has little fur areas in here. Little fur areas. Let's just shade it in. But then this area here gets all shaded in up here. And this area up here is white right in there. Or lighter. I shouldn't say white. It's not white. And his ear is dark in here and gets hidden off in here and you can see just a little bit of his eye in there and a little bit in there and this gets shaded in shaded in and the nose comes down this way down this way yeah I here again I don't I don't think I've captured this don't, this one at all. But this is why you practice. I haven't kept I don't have buddy coming out here at all. It's beginning to look like a dog, but I'm not sure it's buddy yet. Not sure it's buddy. Little eyebrow coming up in here. The face comes down this way. The nose comes in here. 
and then there's this little mouth shapes under here and kind of comes out that way and out that way and then his paw he's got another paw kind of in here he's resting on his paws he's resting and this is all a pillow in here there's shading in there and then my goodness his paw comes his back he's his back is let's see starts here and kind of comes down all around this way kind of and then his little tail <laughs> it's so cute he comes up this way let's see if I can get this in here like that and the tail just kind of comes all the way up here Aww. and kind of tucks underneath the, the pillow here might be a little swishier and then this this there's a if you'd see this this leg actually comes down this is part of his paw in here and he's got another one of his paws going on underneath of here underneath of him and this is all pillow I'll uh, bring it down a little this is all pillow in here. His little tail can see it. <laughs> like the little tail. The little tail is cute. Like that. So let's put just a little bit of shading in here. And a little bit in here yet. And coloring his nose a little more. And you can kind of see a little piece underneath of his jaw for his mouth. And shade up around his head a little bit more. It's hard to see. I think this is shadow in here. Uh, up around his head, there's some shadow going on in here. Now let's just shade that in. Shade that in. And... You know, there's light shadow coming in this way. So, but I might just dwell on this part when I when I do the final sketch. And the dark area in here. Defining eyebrows like that. Kind of a dark area dark area on his nose that little triangular area of his nose okay so this is sketch number one I love the tail I have to say I love the tail <laughs> uh, this is sketch number one of uh, sketch number one of uh, Buddy and this is Lala's dog, Lala Gam Gamma, Lala Gamma, Lala's dog. And this is May 29th, 2021, and I'll just sign it down in here. So there are my animal sketches. How fun that was. And these are all just sketches. Now, I'll have to practice more. Uh, I think I'm catching probably Bernadette maybe the best. Um, her, her, her area in here might need to be a little bit more defined. But And then on, on Ripley, I think his head is a little bit wider. But that was my first, first time in a long time putting drawing an animal. And... Then little buddy, he's coming along, isn't he? So it is 5.13. I want to sign off at 5.15. So I'm going to come out and look at chat. See if anybody's talking to me. 
Let's go to live chat. Lori says, I love all three of them. You are great with animals. Oh, thank you. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. And the more you practice, the better you get. You'll probably see me do this over and over and over and over until I get it. Hi, Cindy. Oh, I said hello to you. Cindy Rain Girl. She says, yep, that face does say, where's my treat, Mom? <laughs> this one. <laughs> where's my treat? Aw. Bernadette is a cutie. She's the same breed as Bentley Cocker Spaniel. She's blonde and Bentley is black. Oh, really? Now, which one is Bentley, Lori? I mean, yeah, which one is Bentley? Because I did Blaze. Do you have another one, Bentley? Let's see. Mina says, hi. Hi, Mina. Good morning, Mina Arizina. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> Lori comes up with the cutest names. Mina Arizina. Let's see. Lori says she loves German Shepherds. Cindy says, sometimes I'm up real early, Lori. I just have a lot on my mind. Aww. Lori says, oh my goodness, Cindy, you're a night owl. Everyone slept in this morning. All right, we're back up to there. Blaze was a previous dog. Passed away quite some time ago. Bentley is my current puppy. He's seven, a black cocker spaniel. Aww. Well... You're going, you're going to see me go back in to pet portraits, but you know what? I have filled, almost filled my main journal. I wasn't going to, sh I wasn't sure I was going to get it filled, but I think I've only got, I think I've only got one page left here. I think I've only got one, maybe two pages left. No, there's one here. I think I've only got one page left, and of course I've got a lot of foil, foil things here but my journal my main journal is pretty much full it's not as poofy as my others but i'm going to be working on binding i should leave these out i'm going to be working on binding my uh, where are they on binding my june journal this weekend so don't forget if you're up to or, or when you get up i after i sign off here I'm going to put this video in the playlist, and then I can't put the links in until 5.30. I'll come back in and edit this and, you know, make a thumbnail and everything, and I'll put the links in my stream for the next one down, which is Diana, Artfully Blind with Diana. So have a great Saturday, everybody. Don't forget Beth Schuler is on tonight, late. Not late, later in the evening. I think she starts around around 7 Eastern, which is 6 my time. But when I say late, I mean it's not it's not a morning video. And I don't know, there'll be people on during the day. I, I usually take Saturdays off. So, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you Sunday night. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in.